What's going on guys, Dudley here and welcome to another episode of The Winning Formula. And this time around we have some frustrating matches ahead of us. So we're just putting the Serie A team on the bench, the Italian team plus Radu. And uh, going into the very first match, in the very first match we come up against Stellar team. Absolutely stunning. And uh, it's a 4-3, it's a 4-2-3-1 formation, the second one. So it's very good for possession. And I was a little bit worried that I was going to have trouble breaking him down. However, in the 22nd minute, we're able to get ourselves a goal from a rebound that falls right to Hesse Rodriguez getting himself a goal. And then not long after that, we get yet another goal with Mick Tarian hitting that far post like it's his job. And I guess it kind of is his job considering he's our main striker. However, we did get a little bit unlucky here. I tackled the ball away, a chip through ball, and Wiedenfeller, Wiedenfeller decided he was going to leave his post. I don't actually know why he ran out. Uh, we had defenders there. He just kind of pulled out by himself, and I didn't I didn't press the Y button. I don't know why he ran out, but whatever. He did, and it cost us a goal. It happens. And right here, another cocky clearance for me. Why didn't I just pass back with my defender? I didn't need to pass it back to the goalkeeper. I did. I got cocky. I tried clearing it, and it cost us a goal. And because of that, we had to go all the way into extra time. So I actually could have ended this game if I had it, if I just hadn't done that. You know, another mistake for me. It cost us last game. It's going to cost us this game. We had into extra time. A nice chop from him. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't expecting that. I normally do expect that from players. And I expect fake shots and all that. But that was just a little bit of lapse in my defense. I completely forgot to defend against that. And he got right past my defender. And then finally, for the fourth goal, once again, Wiedenfeller decides that it's his job to play center back, he fo he want he runs out of the goal by himself again. I did not press Y, and I didn't notice quick enough to double tap Y and get him back in goal, and he gets a goal with Luis Gustavo to make it four to two. Not that we were coming back anyway. That was 120th minute. That third goal was really what caused us to lose. And once again, stupid stupid decisions on my part, trying to clear it with the goalkeeper with a player right in front of me. And it cost us our first loss, and it's a game that we really should have won if if I had just not done what I did. Doesn't matter, you know, shoulda, coulda, woulda, it didn't happen, we lost. And uh, I just don't want that to be a reflection on the team because it's not. So that loss that you guys just saw, not a reflection on the team whatsoever. The team plays stunningly, and what better team to prove it but with this team that we're coming up against. A stunning team. In all, sh in all forms, really, everyone, great formation, great players. And right away, Hesse Rodriguez is like, let me get a goal, boss. And he does in the 45th minute. We still pass the right back, the center back, and they're not quick enough to catch up to him. Right then again, in the second half, right basically from kickoff, Hesse Rodriguez decides, let me get another goal for you. Boom, second goal, finesses it right around the goalkeeper, 48th minute. Keeper's not getting to it. His defenders are too slow, and it costs him right here. Perfectly timed. Um, I believe that's a Berber spin. Perfectly timed to get past two defenders. Gets past the third defender with a nice little dribble from Gundogan. Getting himself a third goal. And we are absolutely killing it. Then Gundogan once again on the ball decides I'm going to pass this one off. Or I'm going to try and shoot. Doesn't happen. Mkhitaryan is right there to pick up that rebound. Gets it in. And that's four goals to the good. 81st minute. This guy is not coming back. And we end up winning that game. And it's a game we really should have won. We dominated possession. And we dominated... Uh, well, we didn't really dominate shots on target. He did have a few chances, but they were just outrageous chances that weren't going in. Um, the keeper wasn't going to let them happen, and that was just one of those games where he was taking shots from just about anywhere, trying to get back into the game, and it didn't work for him. And we come up against the very next team. So no easy teams this time around. Bundesliga, BPL, and Bundesliga it is, and we come up against a stunning team once again. Very good players all around. And he ends up scoring right away. I don't know how my defender couldn't stop that goal. He stepped he stepped right in front of it, but I guess he was too late. Gets his goal with Royce. Not long after that, he gets a chip through ball because both of my defenders rushed him. And that goal is a goal that I really felt Buffon could have gotten to. It was, you know, it was in the direction that he was running. And uh, we were, I mean, he really should have gone to We were able to fake him out, though, make him pull out his keeper and chip it right over him with Serchi to get us 2-1 into the game. And not long after that, or very long after that, actually, because it's in the second half, we're able to get another goal from Rusty. Once again, getting a header with that 59 heading of his. How he does it, I do not know. 
but we end up heading into penalties and this is where things got weird i couldn't save anything for the life of me i dove the right way couldn't get to it right here i mess up i went to the middle he read it couldn't get to it and once again it's just uh bad bad keeping for me right there i could have saved that but i dove and uh, at this point, I'm like, okay, I know where he's going to put it. I went the right way. I flicked up on the thumbstick, but my keeper dove down. I don't know why. Maybe I flicked a little bit to the angle, and the game thought I wanted to uh, dive to the side. I don't know. Uh, it, it basically cost us the game. Does it matter? Bad keeping for me. But anyways, that's coming to the close of the video. As you guys can see, we did outstanding in that game. We just couldn't pull off that third goal. That would have gotten us the win. Uh, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know in the comments section below. If you guys want to see the last episode of this, the links to that will be in the description below. Other than that, have a great day or night, depending on when you're watching this. Peace.